Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, if you guys are wondering what I'm going to do in Hooktail's Castle at this present time, well, I'm going to tell you why right now, rather than go on a tangent about why I'm here. Anyways, there's a star piece over here behind these bars that you only need the super boots to get. And apparently I need to go over to the right, there we go. Now, there's two more star pieces I need to get in this present area, but they're actually in Pittleburg rather than Hooktail's Castle. But in any case, I did buy some badges. Well, actually, it's better off showing it right here rather than going into my actual badge setup. But anyways, I did get Simplifier and Unsimplifier. Power Rush, I believe I got in the previous video. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But I did get first attack, and it was quite expensive, like around 70 coins, or 75 coins. And that was on deal, too. So yeah, just imagine if I tried buying this badge while it was on regular price. Probably around 100 coins. So I figured I might as well get it, you know, just to get out of the way. It took me a while just to gain some more experience and more coins to be able to afford this crap, but, you know, it's gonna be all worth it. I didn't have much time to record, so I figured this was a good opportunity to build up some more coins and whatnot that I could use to buy some badges. In the meantime, why don't we just head on out? I do have Power Plus equipped to make things a little easier on me. But why don't we take off Quake Hammer and put on First Attack in case I run into some enemies. I won't gain any star points at all, not even one. But at least I should get some coins, maybe? I'm not guaranteeing it. But at least now I don't have to actually fight the enemies. Just in case they run into me by mistake, looks like I'm not going to get any coins at all. So it's nothing like the original Paper Mario where you just got less of what you could have gotten if you had the battle. Now it's just completely, you get nothing altogether, you lose, good day. I mean, this is good for backtracking if you don't want to get in any battles at all, especially if you're recording. If I wasn't recording, I wouldn't have first attack on. I would just be using this opportunity to get more coins and probably more star points. Granted, it'd be a very low amount, it's still something. And a little bit of coins would not hurt as well. Or items. So we got the star piece right next to Bubulber. Now I have to go over near the flowers, right by the eastern exit. I think it's around here. I was actually right on the flowers. And Goombella, get out of the way. I say get out of the way, Goombella. Ah, you're worse than coops. Thank you. So now I think I have a total of nine star pieces in possession. I'm really increasing my numbers, which is a very good thing. I can head back to Dazzle to get some more badges as well. That would be a good thing to do. But in any case, my current objective before I begin Chapter 3 is to do some troubles. You know, just to build up more side quests and all that stuff. I was getting some Pianta tokens off footage as well, like through the slots and the plane game, which you can play with the silver card. Which is what I got. I think it was a silver card. No, a special card. Just regular special card is all you need to play one game. If I had the silver card, I could have played another game. But I don't even have the ability to unlock yet, and I don't have the chance to actually get the card. Because remember, the mini games that you play in the Pianta Parlor are based on paper abilities you get in the game. Like the first one is obviously the plain power up. The other one should be like the slim paper power up, which I think will be the next card I get. Whenever that happens. Could be right after the next couple troubles. Or I might have to wait another chapter, but that's okay as well. But in any case, let's go see Dazzle right now. I'm not interested, thank you. So yeah, once it's see Dazzle and pick up the badge I want, then we'll head over to the Trouble Center. I don't think there's any other side quest I need to do. Okay, I got nine star pieces, so what do I want that could come in handy? I'm gonna go with Heart Finder. That would be very valuable. Should have picked that up before Flower Finder, but hey, it doesn't really matter. 
Ah, uh, pretty lucky. I can go with that as well. Well, as long as you're happy, so am I. And hey, I got something out of that. So who's complaining? Nobody, that's who. Just the people who had those star pieces hidden and just came back to them and realized that, oh my god, there's nothing under here anymore. Well, my life was complete when I had the star piece and now it's gone, so you know what, I'm just gonna go cut myself. But who really cuts themselves in the Mario universe anyway? I mean, there's no such thing. Okay, so I got two more troubles left to do. I'm gonna go to the Puni Elder. I'm getting up there in years, so I want me some insurance. A life shroom. I'm in no big hurry, but sometime before my time comes would be nice. Please meet me in the Great Tree in Bogley Woods. Okay, so I have to go all the way over to Bogley Woods to the Great Tree with a life shroom. Granted, I did pick one up on my own time to save you the whole trouble of watching me buy a life shroom. If I pissed anyone off that didn't see me buy the life shroom, like, Bongo, I was looking forward to seeing you buy a life shroom, and I want to see it firsthand. You denied me the pleasure. Unsubbed. I don't know if anybody actually talks like that, but in any case, I think I just went the wrong way. I suppose go to that pipe. In any case, I'll just meet you back at the Great Tree rather than have you see me going all the way there on foot. Just give me a few moments. Okay, it took me a couple minutes. Had no battles, by the way, even though I took first attack off. But we're finally here. So where's the Puni Elder? Oh, over here. Oh, is that you, Mario? Are you here to listen to me pontificate first, Bill? No. Or did you bring me a Life Shroom? Life Shroom, Life Shroom. Oh, Glory, you got one! A Life Shroom. Lovely! Thank you, Mario. And you made it before I actually needed it! Phew! Here, take this reward. A Life Shroom is like health insurance. I'll live a long life now for certain. 60 coins is actually more than the life shroom. That was a nice chunk of money, if I say so myself. That reward was actually worth it. So now I'm going to head back to Rogueport to meet you back at the Trouble Center for that last trouble. That should give me another couple minutes. Up several minutes later, we're finally back. Unfortunately, I had a couple battles in Bogley Woods, but it was a nice bit of experience, so I'm not going to complain. Alright, so this is the last trouble I can take on before I can actually get more. Oh, my dad is in a world of hurt down there. Uh, that's what she said. That could mean many things. Please, you gotta help him! I'm waiting at the entrance to the pit of 100 trolls beneath Rogueport. Wait, you're at that place? Oh, God. The pit of 100 trials. I mean, that was one place I was gonna save for much later. But it looks like you actually have to go there a bit early. Not all the way through the Pit of 100 Trials, but like through some distance and then you can just leave. Of course, there is not an exit out of the pit at every single floor. I believe it's at every 10? Or if you're lucky, you might find a mover that can take you back to the entrance right away, but you have to pay a fee. It may not appear on every single floor though, so you have to be lucky. However, actually, I think I could have had a much easier time if I went through the western part. But I don't think it matters that much. Either way, we're going to get to the Pit of 100 Trials. We're just not going to go all the way. I don't think you need to go all the way at all just to finish that trouble. If anything, his dad probably just went through like a small distance. And then pussied out like before he can even get to the halfway point. Which I don't blame him at all, because the enemies in the Pit of 100 Trials, while some of them are the same enemies you've seen before, many of them are exclusive to the Pit. And can be very, very tough. But, you know, I could have used that save point, but it doesn't really matter. You took out my trouble? Oh, thank the stars! This is just terrible! My dad went to the Pit of 100 Trials, and he never came out! He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the Pit's treasure! But I don't need treasure! I just want my dad back! Please help him! 
You'll be saying that now, but once that new game system comes out, you'll wish he did go through the pit. You selfish kid. Anyways, welcome to the Pit of 100 Trials, and you're just gonna see, like, a one battle in every floor. But the battles are not easy. By any stretch of the imagination. So, why don't we tattle this new enemy, the Gloomba? I always like dark places. That's a Gloomba! It likes dark, damp places! I just said that, well, save for the damp part. HP 7, attack 3, defense 0! It's stronger than a normal Goomba, so be careful! That's not a healthy color for a Goomba, but it doesn't mean it's sick or anything. So don't show any mercy! I won't, mother. Let's kick some ass. Go! Yeah. I could have used my spin jump as an action command for a first strike, but I wanted to get the title log early. In fact, the Pit of 100 Trials is a pretty good spot to get some early title logs. Okay, spinning as we've seen before, they're nothing new. Come on. Come on! Come on! Oh, now you show up. You know what? Regular attack for you. Oh god, there's five of them actually, and not now it's not four. Okay, I think I can afford to use a Quake Hammer, even though I'm low on FP. At this rate, I'll gain a level real soon. Probably before I get to floor 10. Oh my god! Blocked it. I'm on to you, game. Ooh, a mushroom. That's not a bad find in this place. Not that it'll be necessary this early in the game. Or this early in the pit, rather. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna wait for you to provoke. I mean, no! Damn it! Oh, nice! I still was able to react properly. Uh, yeah, another Quake Hammer would be good. So at least I'll get the Spania killed. And the Gloomba should die pretty soon as well. I'll have plenty of time for Sweet Treat if need be. Oh good, I may not even need it after all. I'll have another use of the uh, Quake Hammer. There's a timely couple flowers. I'd say if I actually do start the Pit of 100 Trials legitimately to go all the way to Floor 100, I might actually do these floors off camera, and then just start at the floors that we haven't done yet. I think that'd be fair, right? Rather than have you see all these same battles again and again. I mean, what's the point, right? It'll just get repetitive. Ooh, this is a different item. Oh, the Spite Pouch. Relief Feet does half damage to all foes who attack directly. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Dried Shroom. Because, you know, really, Dried Shrooms are not that reliable. Ooh, Fuzzies. I hate Fuzzies! They should die! Okay, Fuzzies and Dull Bones. I think they can fall to another Quake Hammer. Still a couple battles away from gaining a level. That would be super at this point. Man, somebody needs some stronger glue to hold the stage in place. That's the second time it tried to fall on me. Hmm, Vulture. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Do I really need to keep something? Let me get rid of the spite pouch. I think the Voltrum's better than that item. Oh, another Gloomba. Hey! That's what I want to do. Time for a couple action commands. There we go. Time it right, you can actually do like 8 damage. Mind you, I have Power Plus on, so it could be much less than that. Like one less, really. That's still a timely amount of damage. Oh, Spinia has returned. 
Let's go with a regular jump. Ooh, one of them has a badge. Don't mind if I do. I look like they're gonna take some hits, but that's okay. I could use Mario to give her the spannies, but that's okay too. We'll do just fine. In fact, after this battle, I should gain a level. Uh, Goombella, no sense for you attacking, just defend. Just use a regular guard there. And you are dead! And time to level up! Alright! Select what I want to upgrade, obviously it's gonna be BP. Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. So yeah, that happens every time you get up like 10 levels. Now that Mario's level 10, he's a B-list star, which means his crowd goes up to 100. So that can add to a lot more BP you can gain. I get rid of the Voltrum, man. I'm just getting rid of a lot of items as soon as I get new ones. Right, at this point, I can actually put on Heart Finder. Or Flower Finder, because at this point, hearts are not urgent. Go Flower Finder for now. I really need to sort these later on. And then, if I get in trouble, I'll put on the Heart Finder. I mean, look at the stage, it looks so much better now. Come on, drop a badge for me, please. You can do it, Spania. Drop me a badge. Drop me a badge. F you, then. You deserve to die for that. Ooh, ooh, coin, coin, coin! Thank you. Uh, I still don't see Pinty's dad. Did he actually make it all the way? Nah, he couldn't have. Wait, how did I still get that first attack? I so should have been hit. So I can get the crowd up to 100, that would be awesome. That's gonna add to a lot of star power every time I use Stylish. Now it's at 52, so it's gonna get a lot better. I think we're doing just fine on the coin and FP front. And HP, hardly an effort at all. Oh, we made it to floor 10! On every 10th floor, you can either leave, or you can pick up another item. Ooh, we'll get the Sleepy Stomp badge. Nice. Hmm. This is level 10. I can leave now, or I can just go on by hitting this switch. So I think what I'm gonna do is, you know what? We might as well keep going. I mean, we have to anyway. We haven't even seen his dad yet. So now we see a Paragloomba for the first time. Oh! We see a Pokey as well! Uh, Goombella, you're gonna have to tattle this for me. It's a new enemy, you know how it works. That's a Paragloomba! It's a Gloomba with wings! No shit. HP 7, attack 3, defense 0! It's like a stronger version of a Paracoopa, and maybe that's all there is to it. I wonder if living down here ever makes its wings moldy. Eek! Yuck! It's too gross to even think about it. Lick! Why couldn't you just say, like, Paragoomba instead of Paracoopa? Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Ah, I could not time that right. Alright, I'm gonna let Mario get in front to take some damage. Instead of Goombella for now. Now let's tell the Pokies as well. Okay, they appear in Glitzville. That's a Pokey! 
it's a cactus ghoul that's got nasty spines all over its body. HP 4, attack 3, defense 0. Look at those spines! Those would totally hurt. If you stomp on it, you'll regret it. Pokies attack by lobbing parts of their bodies and by charging at you. They can even call friends in for help, so be quick about taking them out. Damn it. Ugh. Man, I'm just getting very bad at the timing for this. Uh, Bella should not be attacking the Pokies because of the spines. Oh, oh, oh. Not that it would have mattered, I was already at full star power. So I think what I'm going to do is swap her out for Kooks. Man, I was actually too late on that! I'm gonna actually swap out the Flower Finder to put on the Heart Finder now. That was pretty shitty at best. Alright, so I don't need, like, flowers anymore. At this point, it would be best to put on the Heart Finder, like I said before. That would be much better. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna stop the video right here, and in the next part, we'll finish whatever we need to do with this trouble. Which is obviously go deeper. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.